hello youtube welcome back to another amazing video my name is tunde victor in today's video is all about capture one so i'm going to be showing you how to create sections in capture one and also how to change your icc profile in capture one so basically i'm going to be showing everything about sessions in this capture one tutorial so let's get started so if you are new to capture one you are going to see your capture one interface like this if your capture one interface is not like my own right here you can just come to windows and click on workspace and click on default and you can adjust this part like this by just clicking on this place and dragging it like this or you can expand here also by clicking on here and just dragging it like this so this is my capture one interface so first thing to do if you want to create section you come to your file and you create new sections now the question is what are section in capture one session simply means like a folder where you can just arrange your image so creating session is like creating a capture one folder and i'll show you what i mean so once i come to my file and I click on create section it's going to show me new section and the first thing i'm going to do you can rename your sec it's, it's going to show you name and you can rename your section to, to whatever name you want to use so for this uh, tutorial i'm going to be renaming this my section capture i'm just going to name it capture like this and remember you can rename your cap you can rename your session to any name you want so next you do you come to this location you can see, you can see location here so what does this location mean it means the location where you want your capture one session to be saved in and uh, you can choose any location you want to capture one to be saved in you can choose um, a location on your, on your system or you can shoot or you can choose a location on your hard drive so for this tutorial i'm going to be choosing a location on my computer and i'll tell you why because i can easily move my sections from my computer to my hard drive and just use it in another computer on this session to be saved on my system so i just click on my desktop or i can create a new folder so let me just create a new folder i'll create a new folder and i'll name it silence and i'll click on select folder so this my this my session just created will be saved inside my silence folder so just leave your template as blank then on that subfolder you have the capture you have the select you have the output you have the trash and you have the you have the capture name which is capture so i'm going to explain this one after the other and, and i'm going to show you their functions so after choosing a place where i want my session to be saved i'll just click on ok so once i click on ok it's going to load and you can see up here it has turned to capture so the next thing you are going to do I'm going to be importing image to this my capture folder which I just created so how do you import image in capture one into your session you created there are two ways to do that you can either come to your import right here so you just come to your import so once I click on import right now then I'm just going to you come to your computer come to choose your desktop or your hard drive anywhere your image is saved to so just look for where your image is saved to right here if it's saved to your hard drive you can just come to your hard drive and just click on your hard drive and look for the picture but my own picture which i want to use for this tutorial is saved on my desktop so i just come to my desktop and i just click on my capture tutorial and just click review for import so all the image inside this folder right here all the image inside this folder once i click on review for import all the images inside that folder are going to be imported to capture one for review so this preview simply means you can select image you want to move to the session you created and you can remove some image you don't want to be in that session so i'm just going to select few image so i'm just going to deselect some image so I can click on this first image right here and just hold shift and click on this one right here and once I click on deselect all those ones are going to be deselected let's say I want to select for because I already deselected let's say I want to select from here to here right here I can just hold shift and click on this image right here and just click on 
select and all those parts will be selected and if i want to this instead of just clicking it one after the other like this it's going to take a lot of time just click on this first one hold shift and come down here and click here like this and just click on deselect and you can see i've deselected those ones up so that's how you select image you want for preview so let's say i like this image like this i have 57 image selected so i'm just going to click on import where i can pick all and just import all so let me just import all so i'm just going to click on import all like this so all the image in that folder are going to be imported to this new session i created and i'm going to show you in a minute now our image has been imported successfully to the session to the capture session we just created so these are the image we just imported yeah that's me this is me right here so these are the image you just imported so the other way you can import image in the section you created i told you there are two ways to import image so this is the first method to import image and i'm going to be showing the other method right now so i'll just come to my computer i'll come to my desktop and this is the tillens um this is the folder we created this is tillens and this is the capture folder we created so this is the capture folder you know we name our capture folder to capture so this is the capture folder so once i click here you can see our input our select our trash i'll show i'll show you the function of this so this is our capture folder so the image that we imported are right here inside this capture folder i'm just going to change my view like this yes so these are all the image we imported and once i come to my capture one again so once i come to my capture one so this is the capture folder and all this image right here are what is inside this folder right here so i'm just going to delete all the image right here and i'm going to show you the other way to import image into your session in capture one i'm going to hold my shift i want to click on ctrl a to select everything and ctrl d to delete okay so once i delete that you can see our capture folder is empty and once i come to my capture one you can see there are no image here again because it is empty i already deleted the image in the folder so this is the other way you can import image to your session in capture one so you just i'll just come back to my computer and uh, come to my desktop because this is the image i want to import to capture one so i open the images i want where the images are saved so i just click on ctrl a to select everything once i click on ctrl a i click on ctrl c to copy i'll just come to my um desktop again and look for i'll come to my talents and look for my capture folder which i created so the capture folder i created is is inside this talents folder so i just open my talents folder and click on my capture folder pay close attention because this is kind of tricky so just pay close attention and you're going to understand the video and if you don't understand you can always take the video back and watch it again so you can understand better so inside this my capture i'll just open my capture and here i'll just paste the image right here by clicking on ctrl v to paste those images which i copied so once i paste them right here you can see they are here right now and once i come back to my caption one you can see the image are back here so these are the images that are back here so this this is how you can import image to a new section you created or to a section a capture one you can add as many image as you want I hope you're learning something from this video so far if you feel you've learned anything from this video so far just click on the uh, like button and if you are new here hit on the subscribe button so let's continue now i'm going to be explaining what this select folder is what this output location is and what this trash is and just look at this section right here you can see the subfolders under the section right here if i come to my file and come to my um where i actually created the capture one section and open my capture you can see we have the output we have the selection and we have the trash and we have the capture this capture right here is the same capture folder right here and um this output right here is this output location right here 
and this select folder right here is this select folder right here what is trash is this trash right here so they are the same thing and one section is good you can easily copy your capture and just put it on your hard drive and you can edit all the image right here in another computer or another laptop so that's why capture is good so once you create a capture you can easily edit your picture anywhere so i'm going to show you the function of this um art speed select and trash right now so to do that i'll just come to capture one again so i want to delete all my pictures and once i delete them they are going to be moved to trash and so i can easily bring them back if i feel i mistakenly delete a picture so i'm just going to select everything and i'm just going to click and uh, move to trash or i can click on ctrl delete as a shortcut so once i move them to trash you can see they are no longer here anymore no? so they are they are moved to my trash so once i come to my trash right here these are the pictures i just deleted right now so they are in my trash right here and i can also come to my trash right here and i can see them here on my trash and if i feel i deleted them i deleted the, uh, i deleted those pictures by mistake i can easily bring them back so to bring those pictures back i'll just select on these pictures again i'll just select all of them so once i select all of them i'll just move i'll just move them to select folder so i can easily come to my select folder right here you can see them here my select folder selection folder and i can just edit them right here or i can come to my select folder right here and you can see see them here so these are the image right here and they are no longer on my trash so you can see so that's the function of trash and select folder so and one more thing for the select folder you can actually let me go back to my capture folder right here you can actually select some specific picture and move them to select folder so i want to move this um two image to select folder so i just hold my shift and just come to i just right click so once i right click i can just move to select folder so once i move to select folder these two images will move to select folder and once i come to my select folder right here you can see those two images just move they are in my select folder so i can easily edit them here so i'll come back to my capture folder again so that's the function of uh the capture folder the select folder the, and the trash folder i hope you understand what these folders are right now and i uh, want and you don't have to worry about um understanding this folder because what is here is the same thing that is here so last so let me show you what the output folder does let's say i finish editing a picture in capture one and i want to export that image after editing it in capture one i can just come to my export so export variant and um select my output folder so once i click on export the images I export in Capture One are going to be saved in that output folder. So let these images export and I'm going to show you in the output folder. Now, so once I come to my output location, you can see the image right here. And if I come to my folder right here and I come to my output, you can see the image right here also. So that's the function of those subfolders in the session I created. So that's everything you need to know about sessions in Capture One. That's how session work in Capture One. And you can create multiple session and you can just switch session by clicking on this session right here and just switch if, if for example if i have another session i just click on my other section right here and go to load that other section on this section right here and if you do not see the session all you have to do is maybe your session here is um turn is hidden all you have to do is click on this arrow right here and your section is going to open that's all you need to know about sections a capture one now i talked about icc profile how to change your icc profile so icc profile simply means maybe i shoot with a nikon camera like this image i shot it with a nikon camera and i want to change the icc um profile to make it look like i shot with a nikon or a sony or a fuji camera that's where icc profile comes in so to change your icc profile all you have to do is come to your color tab right here and come to your base characteristics 
So once you come to your base characteristics, you are going to see your ICC profile right here. If your base characteristics is hidden, you have to, all you have to do is click on this arrow key right here and just open up your base characteristics. This image you shot with the Nikon Z5 generic. So I want to change the feel to make it look like I shot with a Sony. So I just come to my ICC profile and I click on my show all right here. So when I click on my show show all, you can see it's going to show me different kind of camera. You can see there's Nikon, there's DXO, I don't know, there's s Point, just there's Fuji, there's Leaf, just different kind of camera. So I'm going to be looking for Sony, so I just come to S, I just scroll all the way down, and this is my Sony right here. So once I come to Sony, there are varieties of Sony. There's Sony A7, just different kind of product on Sony. So I'm going to be using the A7. So once I click on the A7, there's a generic and there's a standard. So I'm going to click on this standard right now, so you can see what that does to the image. If I show you our before and after, this is how the image looks originally with the um, Nikon Z5 generic and this is how it is right now with the Sony A7 standard. So let me just zoom in so you can see. So this is the after and this is the before and this is the after. So you can see the massive difference that's made. So this image is looking better with the Sony A7 standard and it was looking kind of dull with the um, Nikon Z5. So this, so that's how you change your ICC profile, and there are a lot of options you can select from your ICC profile. And let's say I want my um, anytime I shoot with the Nikon Z5, I want it to automatically change to Sony A7 standard. So to do that, come to these three arrows right here, and just click on these three arrows right here, and I'm going to see Save as Default for Nikon Z5. So once I click on Save as Default for Nikon Z5, and I'll click on Apply. So anytime I shoot an image with a Nikon Z5, it's going and I import it to Capture One, it will automatically change to Sony A standard for me without even coming to my ICC profile to change it. So that's how you change your ICC profile in Capture One. So that's all for today's tutorial and I'll be doing more video about Capture One on this channel. So stay tuned. So if you like this video or you learn anything from this video, leave a like, leave a comment and uh, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video.